Hello, my name is Patrick King. I'm the rector of Fremantle and I'm coming to you from a locked and closed St. John's for this reflection. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is April Fool's Day. If only the situation which has driven all of our teaching and our worship and our reflections this Passion Tide online was all something of a terrible prank. But sadly it's not. And so we're all faced with, with the, the wrestling to proclaim Jesus' message of hope in new and different ways. More so than ever, hope is a vital message to our world, a reminder that we will smile and laugh and celebrate and feast again. In more normal times on this day, a group of fools come to St. John's, each year seeking a blessing. It's a moment of brevity which often falls within the seriousness of Passion Tide, in which I drench them with holy water and remind them that St. Paul says even the wisdom of this world is foolishness before God. If ever we are tempted to take ourselves too seriously, we benefit from the ministry of those who encourage us to smile and even perhaps laugh at ourselves. So here's the story of St. Simeon of Emesa, who lived in the 6th century. Simeon entered the gate of Emesa, now known as Homs in Syria, and after spending many years out in the desert with his great friend John of Edessa, dragging a dead dog. And the children chased after him and shouted, look, here comes a, a crazy preacher, teacher man. The next day, a Sunday, he decided to go to church and entertained himself there by blowing out all the candles and by sitting throwing nuts at people. On his departure from church, he proceeded to overturn all the tables. Simeon perceived that his calling was to make people stop and smile and perhaps laugh by playing the fool. And this made him subject to insults and abuse and beatings, all of which he endured with his customary good humour. In spite of his seemingly strange behaviour, Simeon the Holy Fool healed many people by his prayer and fed the hungry and preached the gospel and helped needy citizens of the city. Many of Simeon's saintly deeds were done secretly so that people didn't find out about them. Amid the struggles of daily life at the time, the love of God was made manifest with a twinkle in the eye and a sense of fun. Today, we honour foolishness. We remember the brevity and light-heartedness our Lord shared with his friends, the ways he subverted social norms in his life and death and resurrection, and we bless those who continue the work of St. Simeon and all the holy fools down the ages who remind us to smile and laugh even in the most serious of times. In our reading from the prophet Daniel, there's something rather Pythonesque about the sheer number of people there, the satraps, the prefects and the governors, the councillors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces. The sheer number of musical instruments, the horn, the pipe, the lyre, the trigon, the harp, the drum, and the entire musical ensemble. And, sadly, the sheer blasting temperature of the furnace, which managed to polish off a few of the guards. And yet, amid this bleak, torturous picture, told with great humour, not even a hair on the heads of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego is harmed. The love, the power of God in a torturous situation is made manifest with a twinkle in the eye. This is ludicrous, Pythonesque, to be broadcasting daily from an empty and locked church. And it is in the face of a bleak situation in our society and in our world. But it is important that we continue to be beacons of light and hope in our society. Perhaps April Fool's Day should well be a feast in the life of the church. 
to encourage us to live out our calling to bring hope in bleak situations and to make manifest the love of God with twinkles in our eyes. Let us pray. Holy God, who called your servant Simeon the Holy Fool to an eccentric ministry which upset the conventional rules but led many to faith in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who himself reveled in the upsetting of the status quo. Bless us, that on this day that we traditionally celebrate jolly japes and fun folly, we may all continue to experience joy and laughter even in dark times, as we strive to live in your word, your truth and your freedom, that we may truly dwell in your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you.